Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Xsuit 3.0. And over the years, I've developed a bit of a love-hate relationship with suits. I really love how nice you can look dressed up in a suit. It feels very stylish. And you know, I don't wear them as much for work anymore, but for going to weddings, for a night out at a nicer club, or even for some of the dance events that I travel to, many times you have to wear a suit at those events, but I'm always hesitant to travel with a suit because they're very high maintenance. Many times you have to dry clean them, they'll get wrinkled, and I just don't find them that comfortable to wear generally. So I was very curious when the X suit came out because it seemed to alleviate many of the pain points that I've had using suits more regularly in the past. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience testing this out over the past couple of weeks, talk about the different features that it offers, show you how it looks. But before jumping into the video, I wanna thank the company for sending the suit for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the aesthetic of the suit, overall, I think it looks really nice. I like that even though it has some technical features, it still manages to look just like a regular suit that's gonna fit in very well into a more professional office setting or for going to a wedding or out to a nicer club or something like that. The suit is offered in a few different colors. You have the all black version that I have here. They have a navy and a gray version as well. So just kind of these standard solid suits that are really great to have as part of your wardrobe. You can purchase each part of the suit separately. So if you just wanna buy the jacket or the pants, but you can also buy them as a set to save a little bit of money and to make sure that you get the pieces that match together. So I've really enjoyed this black color here. A black suit is something that just looks great in any setting that you're gonna take it to. It also reminds me a little bit of John Wick, James Bond, makes me feel like almost an adventurer, particularly with some of the other features that this suit has. And then as far as the sizing, I found that the suit was pretty true to size. The pants I ordered in a 34, which is what I order all of my pants in, and they fit comfortably. The suit jacket I ordered in a size 40, which is about the size that I would normally order. The fit is not gonna be perfect on something like this, it's a little more standardized. For many people, it might be good to think about getting it tailored, but as is, I still feel pretty comfortable wearing it. I haven't had any issues. I think it looks nice enough. And on the pants, uh, the inseam, I would say is about 31, 32, so it's slightly longer maybe than I would want it to be uh, for my normal suit. But I, I like that with the length that it has, at least for my height at five foot 11 inches, it doesn't really create a lot of bagginess around the shoes. The cut itself, is nice and fairly modern in my opinion. It's a little bit more slim fitting, so it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a really old school or baggy suit, which I really liked. And then the next thing we're gonna take a look at is probably what is the most interesting and unique thing about the suit, and that is the fabric that it's made out of. The company calls this their Infinite Flex fabric, which allows it to have an incredible range of motion for a suit. I mean, this thing stretches a lot in any direction that you wanna move it in. It's the same material used on both the jacket and the pants. And this is what has made it super enjoyable for me to use this. I've never had this sort of a feeling with a suit before. I always feel myself kind of constricted or worried that I'm gonna tear my suit. But with this, you're able to do pretty much any activity beyond what you would normally want to do in a suit. For me in particular, as I wear suits to dance, this has been super, super helpful. And in addition to the flexibility that the fabric provides for just doing any type of activities and the comfort that that offers, it also offers a nice amount of breathability. You know, this is still a suit, so if you're wearing it in super hot weather, there's no chance that you're not gonna sweat, but this kind of helps it stay feeling a little bit fresher for a longer period of time, which is gonna make it easier to go longer without washing it for wearing it for a longer period of time. It also has the ability to repel stains and water. So if you spill something on yourself, you should be able to brush it off. That also helps keep the jacket from getting as odorous as quickly. So again, just keeping it lower maintenance, making it easier to travel with and wear multiple times before you have to throw it in the wash. And then a really nice thing about this fabric is that you can actually machine wash it as opposed to having to dry clean many of the suits that I normally use. This makes it a lot more appealing to potentially travel with or just to be able to wear more regularly because I know I'm not gonna have to take it into a dry cleaner and spend money. You can toss this into a washer. There are wash and care instructions on the suit itself so you make sure not to ruin it. So that's a really big bonus that it has that ability. And then the fabric also does a pretty good job of being wrinkle resistant. If you pack this away in a really tight space for a long period of time, you will start to see some wrinkles form, but considering that it's a suit and the ways that I've kind of tested out the packing, it actually managed to stay 
fairly wrinkle free. So just a lot of different features provided by this fabric. Definitely something that I'm excited to use on many more trips and just my regular day to day in the future. And then taking a look at the individual pieces of the suit, we'll take a look at the pants first. And so these pants have been great to wear again with that infinite flex fabric. They just feel like they're gonna be able to handle any activity very easily. They've been comfortable to wear all day long, no matter how long I was walking or standing. And they have a pretty nice build quality. These actually feel a little bit more robust than something like the Bluffworks uh, Sender Chinos, which are a similar kind of nicer looking travel chino to me these look a little bit more professional the material is also more comfortable because of that infinite stretch and it just feels like it's going to hold up well to rougher usage and then you have pretty standard buttons on the pants and a nice ykk zipper and then moving into the pocketing you have a pretty standard layout here you have your two front compartments that actually provide you a nice depth so if you want to toss in your phone or your wallet they're going to be able to hold those comfortably although with a suit you know you don't want to have something super bulky on the front but you have the space to do so if you need on the left hand side you also have a zippered and slightly hidden compartment which has become something very common on more technical and travel pants it's always nice to have that extra peace of mind in this type of pocket for placing some extra cash an id your wallet just to give you a little bit more security while you're walking around from pickpockets and then on the back of the pants you have two more additional pockets pretty standard as far as kind of dress pants you have button closures they give you a pretty nice amount of depth again for phones for wallets for anything that you want to store in either of these compartments i also like that you have the button in addition to give it a nice look it also just kind of helps prevent something from falling out maybe accidentally so you know i don't use these as regularly on my suits but it's still nice to have them and they provide a decent amount of space so a really nice setup just on the pants themselves that really help them compare well to some of the other technical and nicer looking travel pants that we've looked at on the channel and then taking a look at the jacket this again feels great due to the infinite flex fabric just gives you a lot more range of motion that i've experienced with a lot of the blazers that i've used in the past we've looked at items such as the bluffworks gramercy blazer which looked great i really liked using that blazer however the material on that is more kind of standard suit fabric so it doesn't really stretch as much it's not quite as comfortable this one also feels a little bit thicker and more robust which is which is nice for, to have that extra peace of mind that the suit is going to be able to stand up particularly to travel use and as far as the aesthetics of the suit you know the, the main thing i want to call out here is it's a one button suit i know there's a lot of different styles of suits two buttons three buttons and how many you button and all that i'm definitely not a style expert to me this one button works great for keeping the suit closed when i need to a lot of the times i just wear it with the jacket open and as far as the cut of the suit as mentioned earlier i really like that it's not a super large suit it's not super slim either it just kind of feels like it has a modern enough cut for a variety of people and then moving into the pocketing you have kind of your standard suit pockets here now i wasn't sure if i could actually open these up most of the suits that i've bought in the past the pockets on the suit themselves are sealed shut with a little bit of thread that you kind of have to cut and then open the compartments up this is really sealed shut on all of these compartments i'm not entirely sure if they are meant to be used or if they should remain closed so i'll definitely be checking with the company to confirm if i can open these pockets up because if not they just they look nice they make it feel like a normal suit but they don't offer a ton of functionality as is but where you do have some nice pocketing is on the inside of the jacket on the left hand side you have a nice zippered compartment it's going to be a great spot for storing something like your phone or a wallet maybe a pair of airpods particularly while traveling i always like putting the stuff that would be in my pockets into my jacket so that I could easily toss them on the conveyor belt through TSA. So this offers a nice amount of space. And then at the bottom, you have kind of a simple slip pocket that's a little bit smaller. Again, might be a good spot for something like some reading glasses or some sunglasses. And then on the other side, you have another zipper compartment. This one has a vertical orientation on the zipper. So this might be a perfect spot to put a passport, smaller phone, wallet, while you're traveling so you can easily access it and not have to worry about it falling out. So a simple but effective pocketing layout all throughout. I really love the additional touches that help make this more versatile for travel, particularly with the fabric that was used here. 
And if you're interested in a suit that's gonna look great, that's gonna hold up to well for usage, and that you're gonna be able to use in more environments that you might use a normal suit, then this is gonna be a great option to take a look at. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Xsuit 3.0 over the past couple of weeks. And you can currently purchase this on the company's site for about $500. Suit pricing in general is something that varies quite a bit. You can get off the rack suits that are a little bit lower quality from $100 to $200 and go all the way into the thousands of dollars for custom bespoke suits. Definitely not something that I would normally be purchasing. And so this falls at an interesting price point where it may be a little bit high for many people that aren't looking for something that, you know, is as kind of flexible and versatile as this, but you know, compared to other items that are kind of like this that are on the market, and because of the quality and comfort that it offers, I do think it's gonna be worth the additional cost for certain types of travelers and users. And so as I was testing this out, the items that this most reminded me of were the Bluffworks Gramercy blazer and suit pants. I tested out the blazer on the channel a while back and I really enjoyed using that. I still use that regularly while traveling. It's a nice looking blazer that has a lot of interesting pockets. That one has a little bit more of a traditional suit feel in my opinion, so it doesn't have as much stretch as this one. It does have a nice kind of modern look. Again, lots of different pocketing. It's nice that you can also purchase the blazer and the pants separately, so if you don't want the full suit, if you don't wear that and you just want a nice blazer you know, for traveling to pair with a dark pair of denim or something like that, and you wanna save a little bit of money but still have something that's gonna give you some extra versatility while you're traveling, then that's gonna be a good option to take a look at. Beyond the Bluffworks Gramercy Blazer, I, this definitely reminded me of some of the other clothing brands that we've looked at on the channel. Primarily probably Western Rise has some of my favorite chino type travel pants. They just look great, they're very comfortable, they're stretchy, they have some nice pocketing, but they still have a professional vibe. They also have some very nice button downs. Their Airlight button down is one of my favorite travel shirts. So it's not gonna be as professional looking as something like this, but it might be some good pieces to add to just kind of build a well-rounded travel wardrobe that's gonna be a little bit more professional. I also recommend checking out some of the items that Outlier sells. We've looked at their Slim Dungarees and their Future Darts on the channel, which again are just kind of flexible, versatile pants that are gonna hold up over the longer term and are gonna help you just build out a very nice, well-rounded, minimalist wardrobe. And although they're not quite as professional, if you're interested in other versatile and useful travel and EDC apparel, I definitely recommend you check out the videos that I've done for items such as the Lem's Chukka Boot, the Bessie Cityscape Sneakers, and the Bobax Travel Sweatshirt 2.0. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Xsuit 3.0 and if there are any similar items that you think I should check out. As always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the suit for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.